Welcome, my friends, to a Brickhead's review, and it's Happy Birthday, the Birthday Clown set number nine. It's the 92 in the Brickhead's collection, set number 40348. This little, awesome, cute, very colorful set was uh, came out in January of 2019. And uh, actually not too long ago that it was discontinued. I think it was in stores for quite a long time. And I remember I was always tempted, never was able to do it. And then I was really pleasantly surprised this this was a gift. Uh, my uh, family knows me all too well. They love, they, they know that I love Brickheads and they know it was my birthday. So... Guess what? Birthday clown it is. And I built this set for my channel, two year, over two year channel anniversary of posting videos. I've had my channel for a little while, I think over that amount, but like well over, I can't believe almost three years, but I've really been more, most regularly posting over the last uh, two and a half to two years. So this was kind of in celebration of that. It's not actually my birthday, that's actually. In the summer, but either way, more about this set. Again, it came out, it was a seasonal one, came out in uh, 2019. It is now since discontinued. It has not creeped up in value yet. I don't know if there's really a market for people looking for Brickheads clowns. I can see this over time kind of building some momentum because number one, there are a decent amount of people in the community that are collecting all of the Brickheads. And this is a really cute one, so if you wanted to give a really fun birth birthday gift, uh, this is one of the few sets that's got stickers that gives you in multiple language languages happy birthday. So I could see this set just for the sticker sheet alone gaining so, uh, just a little bit of extra demand kind of built in for some of the, the cute parts that are in here. I mean, otherwise, it really doesn't have a ton of unique parts, so it's going to be kind of a slow climb to value. Um, but al already, it's starting to go into that $11, $12 range. Originally, it was for $10. They're probably able to get it for uh, discounted at some point, at least 20% off in that $8 range, uh, which it would have been a phenomenal value. The set was designed by Mel Caddick. I don't think I have any of other sets that he uh, has designed and, and again has been discontinued. So had about 150 pieces. It was a nice, uh, pretty easy build experience. As we kind of look at it, I the displayability with all the colors and just the overall look, especially from a distance, is really, really good to me. You know, as you get a little closer, it does look a little goofy, I would say. <laughs> like, it, they do have a lot of nice features, like the bow ties and the coloring and the the, the red. Whoop, there we go. It's already popping off. Um, and the, um, you know, so the, the coloring looks good. And then you've got the, the white face paint. You know, it's hard to kind of pull off that overall look. And then I love how they kind of have that Bozo the Clown almost look with the hair and the fact that he has little presents there's not much to look from behind very plain so this is definitely you know kind of a frontal display they i like the stockings the multicolor stockings that are down below right here and then they have that table of all the kind of the birthday cupcakes right here and then i love this candle piece that's uh that's really nice and then here's the birthday sign that i knocked over and then the stand has got some good little parts i mean there's some good parts if you want to break this down it's definitely pretty solid as everybody knows on the channel i love getting these tan type pieces those play in a lot of different ways otherwise you do get some nice you know the the teal color and orange and then the balloons are always really nice to get those are very very interesting uh there Let's look at the the box art. I think it I think it does it some justice. Look at that. Looks pretty accurate. And then I had a, I'd kind of damaged it already. They kind of went over the 
that you get the sticker sheet. Um, so that's that. Then the instruction booklet, there's not any scanning for brickheads. And, uh, and again, it's pretty straightforward. The building experience always has just a little bit of repetitiveness in brickheads, but not too much. Here they go all the way to the end. Let's see. Starts off with the base. Base of the clown and always works your way up. I think most brickheads kind of go in that general direction. And it's always just so fun how it all comes together. Like it doesn't look like much, and then all of a sudden, boom, clown. <laughs> And then here's the uh, the overall parts list, like a really good grouping of colors. So overall, highly recommend this set. If you're into brickheads, get it now before it gets too deep on the aftermarket. It's still pretty reasonably priced right now. This was, again, a Lego exclusive, so it may get a little bit difficult. It may not be super widely available out there, so get it while you can. Thank you so much for joining me. I love all of these reviewing brickheads. They're just amazing. Soon I will do a full review of my collection to date because, again, I'm not collecting all of them. It's just a little bit about kind of the ones that I'm like, hey, I got to have that one. So there's only a few that I probably missed out on, but I was looking at the collection and there's not, not a ton. This is one I'm really excited to have. So thank you so much. If you made it this far, you're amazing. And we'll catch you on the next Brickheads review. Bye for now.